let's look at the new global usings in C Sharp 10. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created the 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. Here I have a console app that's written in .NET 6, and it's a you know standard boilerplate. In fact, let's get rid of, uh, well, we can get rid of just this first line. Uh, so we have something there, but we're gonna create a using statement, or a couple of using statements. So first, let's right click on global and say, add new folder, we'll call this data. And inside here, we'll create a new class and we'll call it person model. Okay, so we have our person model class, great, awesome. And if you wanna reference that over here, we would say, let's get rid of this too. I will say person model and it's not found. So we'd have to add a using statement. So using uh, global usings dot data, like so. And then we can access person model P equals new person model. Okay, so that's a using statement. But if we were in another uh, class, let's say we create another class over here, let's call it just class one, um, like so. And then in here, we wanted to use the, um, the person model. Again, we'd have to create that using statement by adding the using statement there for data.person model. Um, but what we can do instead is we can use a global using now. So we can say global. And what that does is it creates a using statement for all of our files in our entire application, our entire project. So it is not cross projects, but in our project now, we can now reference the person model here without having to add a using at the very top. So I can say P equals new like so in this class as well, because it has access to that same using statement because of this new global using. Now that is going to be a bit confusing if you're just burying these global usings all over your application, which is why the evolving standard, which is not quite a standard yet, but the evolving standard is to create one file at the root of your project class file and call it something like usings. And in here, get rid of everything and say global using and then you can have your global usings dot data. Okay. And then you can get rid of it here. It will still work everywhere, but the difference is that now it's in the usings dot CS, you know where to find it because it's available for everyone because you're using the standard formatting. You can choose whether or not to use that. You can put these wherever you want in theory, but Practically, you probably should put them in one central location, okay? But that is the global using for C Sharp 10. Now there is one more thing you can do with these. If you're familiar, what you can do is, let's say you wanted to have our console right line, okay? That's our standard console right line, but console can be replaced because of the fact it's static. So, what we can do is we could say using static system.console like so, and then we can drop off this console and just say right line, okay? Well, now we could cut this out of here. Of course, it's gonna give us a red squiggly, go our, our global using central, and I would put it in a separate section, but we can say global using static. And now everywhere in our entire application, we can just say right line instead of console.writeline. Again, this has to be used with some forethought because of the fact that the reason we have our namespaces is so we don't step on toes. So that my global using dot data doesn't step on the toes of Microsoft system dot data. Okay. Now if you don't have any naming conflicts, this is not a problem. But if you have naming conflicts, this right here, and even global usings, 
could cause a problem. So I recommend that you use it cautiously, but our global statements will allow you to not have to have this repetitive set of using statements over every single uh, class that you create. Okay, so that's the new global usings in C Sharp 10. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. Will you use it? Will you not use it? Do you like it or not? Um, also, if you want the source code for today's video, use the link in the description. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.